So as you guys know, typically the process of building a store can take a lot of time and involve tons of research. Whether you need to learn some coding, learn from YouTube tutorials, or pay for expensive themes. It's tedious work. And what if there's a tool that can do all that for you with just a few clicks of buttons? Hey guys, it's Alice Liu here. And today I'm going to show you an AI store builder that can do all the tedious work for you in just a couple minutes, leaving you with your very own e-commerce website set up and ready for you to start making sales on. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the entire process of how I will utilize this tool take advantage of it and how I personally optimize my stores. As much as an AI store can help start you out, it is still important to add your own unique flair. So make sure you watch this entire video and take notes. Now you guys, I can't help but say that I'm very happy this is even possible because when I first started out as a debt broke student trying to make some money, there were so many financial and informational barriers that I didn't know where to start and ended up clueless wasting tons of money. I don't want that for you. And nowadays, we have the tools to simplify everything. So this is a great way to get into dropshipping and start earning profits. But before we start, let me tell you a bit more about how the program works and how you will use it. The program is able to do all the tedious work for us in regards to building your own online stores. Essentially, you plug in your information about your store's niche and themes through a short questionnaire. Then within a couple of minutes, the program will generate you a great starter store fully detailed, customized, and stocked with winning products of your niche. You're probably thinking that this AI store builder is going to be costly, but to better help you succeed, my team and I have made it completely free. The only cost associated with this is Shopify, which is only a dollar for the first month. I don't want to waste any more time. We're about to go through the program step by step together. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, once you access the link I put in the description, you should land on this website. As you can see, the website is basically showing you guys how it works, what it does, um, what it's going to help you with, how it's going to do it for you. And if you would like to learn more, definitely spend some time on the website to check out the results as well. I love how they show example stores on the website. As you can see, this is an electronic store. They have fitness stores, fashion stores, pet stores, home stores, pretty much all of the niches that you would need. And if there's something that inspires you on the website, you can create something very similar. They also have an FAQ here. And if you have any questions, that you need answers to, make sure you check it out. All right, let's get it started and click into build my free store. Here, you just need to sign up for an account so the AI tool can build the store for you. That's what I'm doing here, putting my username in, putting my password in, click next. So in a few seconds, you will arrive at this page where it's asking you to pick a niche. And of course, I totally recommend you to do research on this, decide on the niche that you wanna be in before proceeding any further. For example, if you don't even have pets at home, then there's no need for you to be in the pet niche or selling pet products. So I've been pretty into sports and fitness a lot lately, and that's what I decided to go into. Once you choose your store niche, now it is time to choose a banner. I'm choosing something chill, aesthetic, and simple because I'm going to be mainly selling towards women. So next, we're going to create our Shopify account. Keep in mind that this doesn't work with existing Shopify accounts, you do need to create a new one for the AI to be able to work on it. All the instructions are listed out for you. There shouldn't be any issues if you just follow all the steps here. So here I just click this button and it took me to the Shopify website. If you don't know what Shopify is, it's simply a platform that helps you host customize and run your online businesses on. They even tailored it towards dropshippers. So here I just typed in my email and click start free trial. You can skip all these and boom, 
we're in. Next step is telling me to link my Shopify store. This is simple. Just literally follow the video instruction here. Just copy your Shopify link and paste it over here. Now, time to grab your Shopify discount. Remember when I mentioned about the Shopify fee? So this is pretty much it. Usually they're $29 a month, but now they have a discount where it's only a dollar for the first month after your three day free trial. So make sure you get on that before it goes away. Click this button and it will take us to the page we need to be on. Just follow through the steps. I chose the monthly one and click confirm billing cycle. Put in your card information here. As you can see here, the total is only a dollar. Now, keep in mind that this step is really important because if you're on a free trial and not on a paid plan, your store won't be public. Click subscribe. Now we're back. It's telling us to install the build your store app. This is super simple. Just two clicks of buttons and you're done. So once you get here, this is not the end yet. You're just going to click customize my store. Now it's taking us to the next step, which is add top selling products. This part is really cool because they're going to connect you with a very good dropshipping supplier called AutoDS. And instead of manually importing products from AutoDS to your Shopify store, it's just going to do it for you. Not only that, they're going to give you the top selling winning products of your niche. So if you don't have an AutoDS, account yet you can sign up here and if you do have an AutoDS account already you can just connect it here I have an advanced 1k account already but if you're just a beginner the starter 500 is totally a great place for you to start with we're gonna talk more about the supplier AutoDS in a bit but for now let's get back to building our store next step is to make your store public because right now it is password protected so once you disable that everyone should be able to access your website make sure to always save your changes. All right, it seems like we've reached the last step of the process here and I'm so so excited to see what it looks like. Wow, look at that. I see the banners that I chose earlier and they already added the products into the store. It's only four products right now but I plan on adding more and you will see later. There's a testimonial section which is great because usually you need to download a separate app for that. The footer is also looking great and put together. There's the social media icons, policy pages, as well as the safety and security icon. I love how they included the logo in here as well as the free shipping bar because it would just add urgency and incentive for the customers. Now I'm just checking all the other pages, for example, new arrivals, basically just a collection of the products. There's literally an about us page with fitness photos made. That is a smart and great touch because it adds authenticity into the brand and the website. Now let's check out the frequently asked questions page. These are already built out and filled in for you. Every website needs an FAQ section so that the customers don't have to spam your email asking all these questions. They will just check here first. Contact page is just simple, straight to the point. There's not much to it. Shipping policy is also formatted and filled out. And of course, just like all the other pages, you need to fill in your own details. On top of that, check with your vendors and suppliers shipping policy to make sure everything is all good. Same thing with the return policy. You have to check with your vendors, see what they do with it. And if you don't want to deal with returns at all, you can also put in here, we don't take returns. I wouldn't concern much about the terms and conditions just because these are a requirement for every website and people don't really check them at all. So at this point, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And there's already a few things that I know I will be working on. For example, right here, the prices for these products are just a costing price and we still need to mark it up in order to make profits. Now, I plan on adding a winning product that I picked out personally to be the star of the store. There are a few ways for you to scout out your main winning product, and I've already made a video on this, so make sure you check it out when you do your product research. Now that we're here, I'm gonna talk a little more about it. So AutoDS has this section called hand-picked products, and it's literally such a jam you'll see in a second. These products are literally vetted by the AutoDS team with tons of research, that's why there's analytics on every single one of them. Just scrolling through this page, I already scouted out a few really good summer products for you to start selling on. Because my niche is fitness, I'm going to filter my search to sports and fitness. There are some great options here. For example, I came across this waist twisting disc thing. It's supposed to help you do cardio and lose weight. And what I love about the product analytics is that you can literally see what other people are posting to promote this product. In my opinion, this is not a good enough product. So we're going to go back into searching. Then 
then I came across this product. It has multiple uses to it. It looks very interesting, very lightweight. It's supposed to be a workout tool that helps you do Pilates and strength training. Here, I'm just looking at the videos that people are making about this product. Honestly, it looks super promising and makes me want to use it. And I think more people are going to benefit from using this product than the last one we saw. I also checked out the competitors' websites and I can confidently say that I can make better websites than them. They're all selling this product for close to $40 and it only costs about $5, so there's great profit margins right there. Not only this product is super profitable, it's also been sold really well over 300 orders. It's always a good sign when products are selling well but not too too well so that there's room for growth and you can chime in okay so now that i've decided to sell this product on my website i'm going to click import draft now you want to go to the sidebar on the left and click draft so the product will show up there here we can see the product description variants images and prices and honestly, you don't have to change anything at all because we're going to do that inside Shopify in a second. All right, click save and import and we should be able to see it inside our Shopify. Whenever you add products from your suppliers, never leave it how it is. You always have to change your titles, descriptions, images, stuff like that to make it look more branded and professional. So that's what I'm doing here, starting with the description, taking out the things that I don't want and simplifying it into everyday language that people can actually understand. I usually like to break it into a few sections with bullet points, adding emojis because it's fun, and most importantly, add videos and photos. Because keep in mind, a lot of your customers are not just text people, meaning some people understand things better visually. Videos and graphs just convey information much quicker, not to mention that it can really help customers visualize themselves using the product. What I usually do is to go on Google, TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, all of that, and look for videos and photos I like. Turn the videos into GIFs and edit the photos inside Canva. I forgot to mention that the product photos are really, really important. So you don't want to overlook that and you want to make sure to find the best photos. Usually with every single product on my website, I take custom photos of, but because I don't have a sample product in hand, I'm just going to be using others' photos for now. With the product name, I'm going to keep it short and straight to the point, Pilates Bar. I marked up the price to $30, giving me an advantage for being cheaper than my competitors while still maintaining profitable. Next thing that I'm focusing on is creating a good logo. Here I'm just on Canva taking inspirations from other designs and I found one that fits my brand really well. It took me a while to decide that I want my brand to be named as Pilates 101 because I wanted to advertise my product as a beginner's tool for doing Pilates from home. Always make sure that you download your logos with a transparent background. Now I'm just uploading my logo onto the header. Only one of my banner fits the theme of working out at home, so I'm going to change the second one. It's simple. I literally just looked up at home Pilates workout to find some good pictures to use. Bonus if you can take custom photos yourself because it's just going to feel more authentic. I like this banner photo a lot better. How I like to customize my website is to work from the top to the bottom. So next, I'm going to focus on the product section and make it look good. For testimonials, I usually go on to AliExpress, find the products that I'm selling and look at the actual reviews from customers. I want to add another section basically just talking about my product and Pilates a little bit more. Not only it's going to make the website more aesthetic, but it's also going to educate people. I love this section here and make sure to always add a button for people to shop easily. Another thing to elevate your website and make it look more branded is choosing the right typography. I chose these fonts to convey more of a soft and feminine feel. Now I'm going back to all my other products, refining them, changing the titles, descriptions, photos, etc. Look at that, it looks so clean. And I know most of the times you're not gonna have all the products in hand, so you can totally just go onto AliExpress, find the photos you like that fits your theme and just use that. Back to customizing my website. To make my website more converting, I'm going to add my main feature product onto the homepage. So whenever people come onto my store after watching my advertisement, it makes it that much easier for them to check out and purchase. We're almost done with the homepage here, but I still feel like we're missing a little something. I suspect one of the biggest pushbacks from my target audience is going to be they don't know what to do with the product. So to combat that, I'm going to add a video showing them exactly how to work around it. 
I simply just linked a YouTube video, but again, if you can create your own tutorials, that would be even better. Now I'm just checking my entire homepage again, making sure everything works and all the buttons lead to the right places. Next, I'm moving on to the product page. Product pages are where viewers turn into buyers. So we want to make sure all the right and good information are right there to be seen. I like where it says free shipping to the customer's location so people don't have to do calculations on when to expect it. Also reminding them again, it is free shipping. These icons are really helpful and necessary. Again, usually you have to download a separate app for this, but it's included inside this AI store builder. Related products are also great. You want to make sure that your customers don't just leave your store with one product. You want to make sure that they leave with multiple. I don't know if you can see, but my description is a little bugged out, so I'm going to fix that. Otherwise, we're good with a product page. The new arrival section also looks great. Don't forget to check out what your cart looks like and make sure it's functional. And please don't forget to customize your checkout page. This is the page where people put their card info in. The more professional and on-brand your checkout pages are, the more people are going to trust you. Pretty much all you need to do here is to add your logo, use the right font and color scheme. I even added a banner to elevate it. That's pretty much the website Say, make sure to save your changes. Now go back to your Shopify dashboard and click navigation. Time to make sure our menu has the things we need and is working properly. Here I'm just adding all the products individually into the main menu so people can access them easier. If you click pages, you will see all the pages on your website that you can edit. And one more thing to do before you launch your website is to add a domain. A domain is something like yourstore.com. They're pretty cheap, just make sure your domain is something short and memorable. There's so many other features on Shopify you should explore, for example, discounts where you can make discount codes for your customers. If you have any questions or issues regarding your Shopify store, make sure to reach out to the Shopify support team. They will help you with everything. I absolutely love how the store turned out. I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. And for those of you who are following me step by step to create this store, you will also end up with an incredible store as well. This AI store builder set us up with a great foundation, even with some of the things that I didn't like or ended up changing for example, the logos and the banners, they made it very easy to do so. At the end of the day, your priority should be the convertibility of your store. Sometimes the simpler, the better, and working with a built structure makes it that much easier. What I do wish the AI store builder could do better is to have pre-filled information at the start. For example, it can just ask for your phone number, email addresses, stuff like that, so you don't have to go into the pages and change them yourself. Regardless, it worked out well. Let me know what you thought about this AI store builder. Personally, I love the fact that you can pretty much create a store from scratch in just a couple minutes without needing many skill sets, which is very impressive because it would normally take a few more days and some frustrations to get to that point. Honestly, it really helps simplifying things and speeding up the process. And even if you don't fully like the layout, which I think looks pretty good, it is a lot easier to customize it at this step than it is to make everything from scratch. So if you guys want your own Shopify store to be created this way, make sure to check it out in my description below. I'll have a link there to the Build Your Store website. And of course, feel free to leave any of your questions in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, got inspired or learned something new, it would mean the world to me if you could like, comment and share this video. If you would like my help on your dropshipping journey, feel free to send me the phrase YouTube student for a discount on my mentorship. So thanks again. I appreciate everyone for being here. Good luck dropshipping and I'll see you guys in the next video.